Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Howdy everybody, it's Kentucky Ranger. <laughs> I think you probably can guess what this is. It's a microphone, not just any microphone. It's a wireless microphone. And uh, I picked this up because, first of all, it's $39.95. So it's under 40 bucks. And uh, this coming spring, I'm gonna start getting out and doing a lot more vlogging and uh, going to museums and different places. So I need a good microphone and you'll see why later in the video. But anyhow, I found this Fifine. I think that's the way you say it. Five, it's like Wi-Fi. Fifine. There is the company logo. Anyhow, it uh we'll see how this works. It looks like it's pretty good. I did open it and I I want it because I'm not doing a, you know the box opening thing. Of course I am opening the box. But I read the directions. It is really, really easy to use. Um, so anyhow, here we go. Got the instructions. So, <laughs> instructions. <laughs> and here is the unit itself. Nicely packaged. Of course, you can tell <laughs> I've done had this thing open. So, anyhow, it comes with two different microphones. The first microphone, as you can see, is let me the cords tangled. Anyhow, you can see it's a uh, it's a boom mic, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, you get a boom mic. Now if you look, let me take the wind sock off of here. You can see that it's definitely It's definitely directional. So you want to make sure that that flat part is facing your mouth. So you definitely want to do that. You definitely want the wind sock on here or when it's windy out. <laughs> That's why they call them a wind sock. <laughs> so anyhow, you get the boom mic and you get a lavalier mic or a lapel mic, whatever you want to call it, tomato, tomato. So, uh, really nice Let's see here very well built very sturdy uh, uh, clip lapel clip and uh, you can see it's 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 not uh, it's not a toy I mean this is a real and that's all metal it's not plastic and uh, just a really really nice looking microphone um, the ends, it's kind of cool. Uh, being doing uh, sound systems and stuff like that. It's got little little baby XLR connectors. And anybody that's been in the audio business runs sound, you know, I think that is cool. <laughs> They're little babies. <laughs> so anyhow, that's what connects to it. And uh, the key to the whole thing is this little baby right here. It's a Bluetooth radio. And this little symbol, what you can do here is uh, you can plug headphones in so you can monitor it. Don't have, this doesn't have headphones. This might look like a headphone, but if you look close, it's all that is is a pad. So it's all that is, that's just a pad to, uh, I'll show you when I put it on. Um, anyhow, here is the main unit. Ain't she pretty? Awesome looking little unit. And you can see, here's with my hand. It's not huge, it's not big, it's not real heavy. Now it's got weight as far as, it doesn't feel cheap, but uh, it's not very heavy at all. And it's got, uh, 
do a little belt clip here. And that's a real sturdy wire belt clip. I like the way that's, I like the, the design of that. That's really put on there really good. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna break on you or anything like that. It was really put together well. So, uh, anyhow, uh, but the main reason I did this, now they make a version of this, and I'll have a link to this, to that, in the description as well, is instead of the USB plug, because if you want to use this with a camcorder or a professional, you know, SLR camera setup, they make one that has, uh, it's got a wireless dongle like this, but it has a plug on the end of it to plug into your SL, uh, DLSR camera. I say that right the SLR camera or camcorder or anything like that but this is USB and the reason I got this is because I'm gonna do all of this using the camera and this and you say well, wait a minute Ranger there's there's no USB plug on this phone it's, just, it's an iPhone 8 plus there's no USB plug ah no there's not but Apple makes this. What is this? This, as you can see there's a lightning, the lightning plug for, for the uh, uh, for Apple phones. And look at this. This focus is killing me. There we go. It's a USB plug. Now, they make cheap copies of this. I got a couple. They were like two bucks a piece. They didn't work. <laughs> so get a genuine Apple, and I think they call it a camera USB adapter. Make sure I'll have a link to that too for. Uh, in, uh, I'm not sure if Amazon. Well, I'm sure Amazon sells them. I got this off of eBay. Got it for nine dollars. So uh, you can get them pretty cheap. I think if you get them direct, brand new from Apple, they're around thirty dollars. But you you find them for about nine dollars. They were nine to twelve dollars. I noticed on uh, eBay, and uh, it was an open box, but eh, it works. This is the magic. As you plug this into your phone, here, let me crank up the uh, crank up the uh, camera app. Okay, so I want to show you. And make sure you remove the protective cover, it won't plug in. <laughs> the little details. So you just uh, plug this in. Plug and play. There's no setup. Now, there, I think there's a little bit of a setup if we're going to use this because you can use this for uh, like Skype or something like that on your laptop. But I think there's a little bit of a setup at the. It, shows in the directions how to do that and it really doesn't look that hard but with a phone now you could get an adapter like this uh my sister you've got a uh right uh android. android same thing you can get an adapter like this it'll plug in on an android android phone and it'll do the exact same thing so just keep that in mind it doesn't have to be an apple phone but that's all you do it's just, it's, it's everything's plug and play all you have to do, now that that's plugged in, is you turn this unit on. When you turn it on, pull the power button. Now there's the uh, display, and it displays the frequency and battery, how much, how much battery is left. Uh, oh, that's another thing let me show you real quick. Really cool. All it takes is two AA batteries. Now you can get rechargeable batteries, uh, I figure this is, I don't think you really have to go out to all that trouble. Make sure good alkaline batteries. And uh, I like that idea because if you're out and about somewhere and uh, your batteries conk out on you, you can always get you some batteries. Lord have mercy. I was digging in the dirt today. I forgot to, my fingernails are all icky. <laughs> Anyhow, you turn this on. And well, wait a minute. We turn it back off. 
I gotta hook a microphone up to it. And the way you hook the microphone up, it only goes in one way. It only goes in one way. So you can't put it in the wrong way. There's a key and it just it, click it in there, click it there, push it until it clicks. Okay, I'm gonna turn it back on. I don't think y'all need to see it come back on. Okay. Now what you want to do is when you look at this, you can see that strange looking blue light <laughs> comes on. Oh, that's so anyway, that's on. And now, if you look, there's a level meter. Hello. It's hot. Hello. It's another thing you don't have to get very close. Hello. So anyhow, it's working. So the only other thing is if, if you're having audio trouble, like your audio is breaking up or there's something going on, this is UHF and it has a range of at least 50 feet. And uh, I was goofing with this earlier and it definitely does have at least 50 foot range. Uh, but if you're having trouble, there's a little button at the top here. You click it and see it. Uh, sure it's done. Yeah, it changes frequency. Now it changes frequency here automatically. Uh, little dongle or the little dongle here. It just it automatically does whatever's going on here. It's always looking. So. Now I got all this set up, I have my laptop here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a crowded place like you're in a museum or something like that. And I'm going to give you an example of what this sounds like just with the microphone on the camera, the uh, lavalier mic and the boom mic, see which one sounds better. And then we'll come back here and wrap it up. So we'll see you here in just a second. A few moments later. Okay, this first video, this is just the camera, whatever your, your phone's got for microphone, the internal microphone. So this is simulating like I'm at a museum or something. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over to the curio cabinet and talk like, you know, or you'll see. So anyhow, I'm here at the museum and look, this wonderful display. I'm gonna walk over here and I'm gonna show you guys the beautiful time. Look at this time. I'm gonna make sure my hair can. Last time I did this, my hair got cut off. But anyhow, it's okay. Let's go up a little bit. Okay. Oh, there we go. You see this time, it's really cool. Uh, this is where we might be from the main dinosaur, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't want to use the same thing, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to the next microphone. Okay, next up is going to be the lavalier microphone. Okay, this is the lavalier microphone. I'm just talking my normal voice, I'm not trying to scream or anything like that. And uh, I'm going to walk over here to the display. We're here at this wonderful museum. As, as you can see, beautiful China. Here's some China in China. And this looks like the Ming Dynasty. I don't know. I'm not sure. Y'all tell me. Now, if you notice, I'm not facing the camera. But I would say that you can still hear my voice. Plus, the crowd's not... Um, it's going to be interesting to see what it sounds like, but I'd say that you can hear me a lot better than you could without this. So, uh, and this is discreet, so you could tuck all of this away so people really couldn't tell other than you're carrying a camera around that you're doing this stuff. So, now we're going to see what the boom mic sounds like. Alrighty. This is with the boom mic, and uh, 
like I said before, I'm just talking in a natural voice. I'm not screaming or yelling, trying to talk over the crowd. And uh, same deal, same display. And uh, over here, this wonderful China collection here. As you can see, China from China. China from the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> Plus, where I'm not talking really loud, even though it's crowded and it's noisy, people don't hear me screaming. And uh, anyhow, this I think probably sounds better than the lavalier mic just a little bit. But uh, anyhow, I think it's it's really cool. So let's get back to the. Let's get back to the desk and let's wrap this up, shall we? <laughs> A few moments later. Well, there you have it. Uh, I reviewed the uh, video clips and hands down, I think the boom mic, if, especially if you're in a really crowded area, uh, really sounds good. But the lavalier mic sounds really good too. So I guess it would be whichever one you decide you want to do. Um, just an awesome little unit. Uh, simple, straightforward. Uh, like I say, when you turn it, it's all you have to do, you just turn it on, and uh, there you go. Let's see. Um, not, there's just nothing to, oh, there's a, you can see, well, it's kind of hard to see in the studio here, but they, uh, they're, there's like a little thing that feeds off of the light down here. So I guess you can look down the monitor to see that it's on. But, uh, and a little flippy antenna, you ain't gonna break it or anything. It's, it's so, uh, I don't know what else to say. I think it's cool. Definitely five rangers. What do you say? Five. Cause she was listening to, and I, it's, uh, really sounds good. I go five. Yep, five rangers. You get that, you get, oh, and the batteries aren't included. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but, oh well, they don't come with batteries. It's not really a deal breaker, but it does come with your boom mic. Yeah, see, make sure <laughs> I'm not setting this out and you can't see it. And the lavalier mic. And the little dongle for your USB connected device whether it's a phone or your laptop and like I said this let's see if I can get close to that is a USB to lightning adapter but any adapter you know for for any smartphone would work it's just that I happen to have a, an Apple iPhone um, like I say, Apple calls this. I was looking to see if it's set on here. I don't think it does. Well, see, you can see the little. I don't know why they call it a camera adapter, but you can. I guess you can see. Come on, focus. There's a little camera icon right there. <laughs> so, uh, but it's it's called a camera adapter. I get. I think what it is is you can use this to download. Uh, video and aud uh, audio, video and photo files to your uh, to your to your smartphone. So I guess you can do whatever you want to in your smartphone. But the cool thing about it is this also works with this. Oh, and another thing this works for that I'm really excited about. I can use my uh, my Yeti, my Blue Yeti microphone. I don't need to do it through my laptop anymore because this powers the Yeti microphone and it's also plug and play. You just plug it and go. Uh, that's how simple this is. There's really nothing complex or complicated that you have to go through. You just plug it and go. And uh, five Rangers. Anyhow, God bless everybody. And I hope you found this informative. Appreciate you stopping in and uh, check it out. Oh, another thing, I wanna have a link because they also, this is a cool product. Now I'm gonna have a link to this product, plus the one with the uh, phono jack for uh, digital SLR and uh, 
camcorders but you need to go to their website and it's five fine let's see five fine technologies.com I do believe I saw their web what where's yeah there's their website there is their website right there five fine technologies.com or no what is it I stand corrected I'm sorry fivefindmicrophone.com <laughs> but uh, anyhow god bless everybody take care and uh, hey you vloggers out there man this this is cool i love this so uh beat the crowds work smart not hard <laughs> god bless y'all and take care we'll see you yeah